Good morning, class family. It's a magnificent Monday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start with the date. January 8th, 2024. Dear class family, today is Monday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we'll learn letters and sounds. Next, we will do literacy centers. Then we will share our thinking about a nonfiction book. Last, we will learn how to write a nonfiction book. It is a great day, love Miss Joyner. Oh, it is a great day. Let's look back and reread the message. Remember, good readers read things again. It's called rereading. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Start in the top right-hand corner with today's date. Remember, good readers also read from top to bottom and left to right. As we're starting with the date, Notice the abbreviation for this month. There's a capital letter J, then A, and period. What does that abbreviation stand for? Well, say it out loud. If you said January, you're right. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Notice the capital letter to start. Good writers and mathematicians capitalize the first letter of each month of the year because it's special and important. As we are rereading, notice all of the uppercase letters and punctuation marks. All right, we're going to reread and see the order of what we're doing this morning in language arts. First, next, then, and last. January 8th, 2024. Dear class family, after the greeting, look at the first telling sentence beginning with a capital T. Good writers capitalize the first letter in each every sentence. Also, notice the bigger finger space to indent. Good writers indent or jumpstart each paragraph. All right, today is Monday. It is Monday and it's a magnificent Monday. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We do that every day to work on being a portrait of a graduate. And we're working on being a great communicator and collaborator. Remember to speak clearly with your mouth and listen with your ears. That's what good communicators do. All right. First, we'll learn letters and sounds, just like we do every day at school in kindergarten. We'll use many resources to learn letters and sounds, including our word wall with the foundations cards. Review the vowels with me. Remember, vowels have red in the background. A, apple, a, e, ed, e, i, itch, i. O, octopus, ah, and you, up, ah. Uh. In addition to our word wall with the foundations cards, we'll use our sound wall as a resource, one in class and one on the smart board. We're using UFLY and other resources in the room, including different centers and we're also using electronic resources online too. Shout out to some wonderful YouTube channels, Jack Hartman's YouTube channel, Mr. B's, The Singing Walrus, oh, and The Learning Station. There are others as well, but we really appreciate using your music to help pump our brains with knowledge. All right, next we'll do literacy centers. Just like we do every day at school, we'll do literacy centers, including LexiCore 5 reading program. You're gonna log on independently to your iPads, and you're gonna also do some other centers within the classroom, as well as meeting with teachers in the group, and within the room in small groups or individually. And remember, I'm going to be meeting with you because I am working with you on dun, 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 VKRP, Virginia and Kindergarten Readiness Program, the PAL section, Phonological Awareness Literacy Screening. So we have some more kids to do letter identification. I'm going to show you some lowercase letters, and you're going to tell me what those lowercase letters are. And there are some of you who are going to be starting the sounds part. It's going to be wonderful. We're going to see how much you've learned so far in kindergarten. 
Okay, so then we will share our thinking about a nonfiction book. We will, and we'll look at a nonfiction text. Remember, they teach, inform, and explain real things. We're going to use text features that help us. Text features like the title and photographs, headings, subheadings, captions, index, glossary, all kinds of things to help us. That's what good readers do. They use all kinds of different things. And with nonfiction, we have text features we're going to be learning more about. We're going to read a nonfiction text. We're going to share our thinking and practice being great communicators and collaborators. And last, we will learn how to write a nonfiction book. We will. We're going to take the idea that I picked out last week from the list that we brainstormed as a class family. And we brainstormed some other ideas about this topic. And I'm going to show you how good writers can write it. So I'm going to model before you get to go ahead and begin your nonfiction book. It is a great day, love Miss Joyner. It is a great day. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Our do you like question of yes or no answers is, do you like lions? Well, do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share your reason why. Do you like lions?